What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with BayAreaAquatics.com and today we're going to be reviewing the Beamswork DAF Spec LED Aquarium Light Bar. So the Beams Work Light is a super budget friendly $70 for this 48 inch, right? Which is a pretty good price. Um, LED aquarium light. It's very popular in the hobby. I've seen quite a bit of people use it. The other one that's popular is Nikru. That's what I use on most of my 10 yet. In fact, uh, all of my 10 gallons have Nikru lights on them. Um, and so I decided to go with Beams Work for the 75 just to kind of, you know, change it up a little bit, see how it works. And uh, for those that may have noticed in the past, there was kind of like a white thing sitting on top of the tank. That was actually a four foot LED shop light um, from Walmart. It was like 10 bucks. Um, when I got the 75, I was on a really, really shoestring budget. And so I just went with the cheapest lighting available. I didn't have any plants in the tank at the time, nothing like that. Um, so I just hit Walmart. It was on the suggestion of a Facebook page and it was literally on the tank for four months, five months until I bothered to upgrade the light. Um, and the only reason I upgraded the light is because one, I had a little bit of money, two, I wanted to play with it, and three, I had some people giving me a bad time about it. Um, the shop light worked really well, but it was kind of annoying. Uh, it was clunky. Whenever I lifted up the lids, it kind of slid the light back because it didn't really sit on the tank very well. Um, so there were some reasons to upgrade. So I'm gonna read off the technical specifications real quick. I've got my cell phone in my hand right here. Um, the beams work. I have a 48 inch version of it for the 75. They make them all the way down to, I think, 20 inch. Um, it is a 5200 lumen LED bar. It has 120 half watt LEDs. There's 86, 10,000 Kelvin, 16 blue, nine red, and nine green LEDs. It's got a day and a night mode. Um, and it says it's suitable for freshwater plants and cichlids. And looking at this right here, it goes from 20 inches, 24 inches, 30 inches, 36 inches, 48 inches, and 72 inches, um, ranging from 20 something dollars all the way up to $130 for the 72 inch. This one, like I said, is the 48 inch and it's $69.95 on Amazon at the moment. I'll leave the link for it down in the description below. Now this light has been really good. I've had it on the tank for two weeks now, week and a half, something like that. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't like about it though. Um, one, and I don't know if you can really notice, I think the camera picks it up okay. There's kind of a purple tint to it. Um, and I saw this in a couple of reviews and I decided to order it anyways because there is a fix for that. But quite frankly, it doesn't really bother me. Um, after about a day, I didn't really notice it. Um, if I look at this one and it was next to like another tank that didn't have one, you would definitely be able, like when I look below, my pee puffer tank sits right here. And when I look between the pee puffer tank, it's a very, very noticeable purple tank. Um, but if you're looking for just one aquarium, you're probably not gonna notice it. Now I was told, and I don't know this to be 100% true, that if you buy the timer module for this, which is I think $15 or $10, somewhere in there, um, and I'll leave the link to that down below too, you can supposedly turn on and off individual LED colors. So you could turn off all the blue LEDs and that supposedly gets rid of the purple tint. Um, I don't know because I haven't ordered it. Um, I use just a, a single timer for all of my tanks in my room, um, but I may end up ordering it just to see and turn the LEDs off and see how big of a difference it makes. Um, it's only, I think, like I said, nine blue LEDs or something like that, nine or 10 or somewhere in there. Um, or actually, I think the blue had 16. I don't remember. I put the spec sheet down. But um, so it might affect the brightness of the light, and I don't know how much that affects. Um, I do know a lot of people tend to not like the blue lights, even on like the fluvals and stuff, they turn the blue down. So something about algae or something like that, I don't know enough to to say yay or nay on that. But um, that is just one downside is I, I do think there's a noticeable purple tank. Um, again, if you have one tank, you probably won't even notice it. Um, if you've got multiple tanks with different lighting on it, you will definitely notice a purple tint on this light. Now, some of the things that I really like about this light, one, it's cheap. Um, you know, 70 bucks for a 48 inch light is not that bad. Um, it looks really nice. It's another perk that, uh, you know, it's a really sleek design. I love the little uh, feet that it sits on. Um, the one thing that I wish they did was there's almost like a little foot on the actual light bar itself, not on the feet attachment. Um, and and it's just a little too short to sit on the 75. And if that was the case, it could drop at about two inches and sit almost flush with the glass. Um, I don't know if they did that on purpose or if that's just like a handle design thing, um, but I wish that that was 48 inches wide and could sit right on the aquarium tank. You know, it, it's not a huge deal it, to, for it to sit up a little bit. It's probably better for the heat and everything anyways, um, but it would have been nice to just kind of have the option of raising it two inches or leaving it flush with the top of the lid. 
The other nice thing um, with this one versus like the Nick Crew lights is this one has a fully adjustable um, side feet thing. So this foot that's over here, there's no stopping it from sliding all the way. Well, I mean, there's screws that you tighten once you get the fit, but you can move it 100% all the way across the light. So they can both be like two inches apart or they can be the full 48 inches apart. So if you're running this across multiple tanks, you don't have to worry about getting the tank like the perfect size. You can adjust it to pretty much wherever you want. Um, the light may hang over on one side or whatever, but you know, um, that would obviously depend on your tanks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say about the light. Um, like I said, pros, it's budget friendly. It looks nice. It's a decent brightness. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a good aquarium light. It's built pretty well. Uh, the negatives is the purple tint, um, but there is a fix. It just, it's gonna cost you an extra $15. Um, so that might be something to take into account. But supposedly it's really good for plants or decent enough for low light plants um, because of the multi-color lightiness or something. All my Nick are just plain white. Um, the LED shop light I had before was just plain white. I did notice that my plants here have always been kind of yellowish. Um, and the two weeks or so that I've had this aquarium light, um, they've turned more green. I mean, it still looks a little yellow on camera, but in person, they're noticeably more green. Um, and in some of my cell phone pictures, they're noticeably more green. So I'm assuming that's from the light. That's the only thing I've changed. I haven't changed like the fertilization schedule or root tabs or anything like that, but um, that, that would be my guess. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, what type of lights do you run on your aquariums? Are you using these beams work? I know they're really popular. Are you using Nick Crew? Are you using something else? I know some people use shop lights. Some people use the Phoenix. Um, there's a million and one ways to light your aquarium out there. Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious on what everyone's using and what size tank and whether or not it's planted too. Let me know all that information because um, some people need the heavy plants. Others, they just want to be able to see their fish. Um, so let me know. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.